For Quick Tip Tuesday this week, we're going to talk about uh, what or how to attack the strength portion of your workout during the mini off season that is May for most high school athletes. So guys that finish up their high school season at the beginning of May and then start their travel ball season at the end of May, we're beginning of June. We have a nice little chunk of time, sometimes about four weeks, where we like to get after it and make sure we're addressing some needs, especially the lack of strength um, that we, we have to put on the back burner a little bit during the season because we don't want to you know, risk injury, overtraining, or soreness uh, for some particular guys. So the, th the three tips we have this week is get strong in the sagittal plane, get strong in the frontal plane, and get strong in the transverse plane. What exactly does that mean? So to keep it simple, sagittal plane, think forward, backward movements. I ideal exercise here to demonstrate is just a lunge. We can do a forward lunge or we can do a reverse lunge. That's gonna be your sagittal plane movement. The big three, bench, deadlift, and squat, those are normal sagittal plane movements. So that's more like your traditional strength. Uh, in any sport, but particular baseball, it's the frontal and transverse plane often get overlooked and are probably even more important. So when we think transverse plane, we're gonna think lateral lunge, sorry. When we think frontal plane, we're gonna think lateral lunge. So just moving side to side. If I can get here, get that full range motion, get the strength there. Uh, with the upper body, it's something like a walking overhead press where we're leaning, we're getting a good side bend, we're reaching over here. So we get a lot of scapular movement in that as well. Uh, and we're reaching and we're using dumbbells with that. Uh, that would be an example for the upper body of a frontal plane exercise. Last one is uh, transverse. Think rotational for transverse. So obviously anything rotational uh, in, in baseball is, is specifically or golf is really important. And we want to make sure that we're training that in the weight room as well. So uh, if we're talking power, that's more of your red ball throws. If we're talking strength, we might be using more of something like a uh, deadlift shoulder press here with the landmine. So we're starting here, firing up off the ground, and you can see how I'm rotating as I go through the motion. Another exercise would just be a general landmine rotation that we may do. So just think about more of a core exercise, but still in the strength spectrum of being here and being able to rotate each way. And then finally, for the upper body exercise, we're looking at something like a TRX one arm row with rotation. So we're here, starting in a normal row position. We're gonna open up and go down all the way, completely straighten out this arm, and then rotate up. And you can see how much my chest is moving in this exercise. So again, it's important to hit all three planes of motion. We don't wanna just be strong in the big three. This should help you move better, and it'll definitely help you get stronger in a way that translates to the field.